In this video, I'm going to show you how to pull apart and reassemble the Awada Eclipse Takumi. Let's get into it right now. I do recommend that you use the Awada cleaning mat whenever pulling apart your airbrush. Just that way you won't lose any of the parts because it's got this little ridge on there. Even a parts tray would work. Now for the purpose of the video though, I won't use one. I'll just pull it apart on my steel bench here so that you can easily see all the parts that are coming off it. And also this airbrush has been cleaned. So if you want to learn how to clean your airbrush, brush then I'll link up to a video in the description below showing you exactly how to do that. So this is your side cup, the lid just comes off, this bit does unscrew and you want to check in there because paint will most likely build up in there over time and clean up around here as well. I'm just going to unscrew the handle, this part also unscrews, loosen the locking nut then you can remove the needle and obviously you need to be very careful with the needle it's extremely sharp and delicate so don't bend it that locking nut can now be removed then loosen this part here the needle chucking guide and then you'll see the spring that i was talking about earlier there it is there and this part which sits up against your trigger now that that's all out you can remove the trigger you can see this is one of those triggers where this part is attached so this can be more difficult to put in and also keep in mind that that little notch there indicates the back now just remove this that just comes out the little lug you can see there's still some paint there i'll just give that a clean and then removing that crown cap you can see everything's pretty much finger tight remove this part of the head assembly and now you can see the fluid nozzle. So you can remove that now using this nozzle wrench. These are the ones I like to use because they fit directly over the front of the nozzle so that you don't risk damaging the thread or snapping off the thread. And when it's snug, just carefully twist that off. And the other good thing is the tool actually holds it in place. That said, I want to show you the difference between the Eclipse models versus all the other wider airbrushes. Usually when you take your nozzle off, that's it. But with the Eclipse, it's the same as the HP CS Eclipse. And this one's exactly the same. I'm just going to put that nozzle back on so that I can demonstrate. Don't over tighten it. I'm going to remove this part now using these soft jaw pliers. And you can see that nozzle screws onto this brass cone nozzle. So that's the main difference between the Eclipse nozzles versus all the others. You can also get in there and give that a clean if need be. And now to get into this area here, we need another tool. Just unscrew. Just be careful because that spring wants to drop out. And if you lose that spring, you'll need to get another one because otherwise your trigger won't go up and down. That's the little plunger where the trigger presses that down to activate the air. The needle packing is located in there. You can see that little screw hole. So to get into the needle packing, I'm just using this little tool here, 1.2. Put that in through the back. You can feel it just once it's grabbed it, just unscrew it. That'll just allow you to remove that screw. And you can see that little Teflon seal there. That's what can deteriorate. So that's your little needle packing area. And when you pull that out, you might also want to clean that section as well if need be. So now it's all pulled apart. Go put it back together. Starting off with the needle packing. Screw that back in. So I go tight and then sort of go a quarter turn just to loosen a little bit so you can get the needle in and out. Otherwise the needle can be super tight. Good way to check it is to put the needle through and you can see I've got a bit of resistance there. So I'll just go back in and loosen it a little bit more. Test it one more time. That's much better. So put the plunger back in, just like that. And then you put the spring over the top of it. The little tool with that little locking nut Press that over and wind that in. So you'll know straight away if you haven't done it correctly, if you fit your trigger back in. So you just gotta make sure that little piece drops down into that hole. So it's a bit tricky, but you can see I've got action. It's bouncing up and down. If this was installed incorrectly, you would just press down and it wouldn't move, wouldn't work properly. Now fitting this part back in, that goes up against your trigger. Then you need your spring. And you screw this on here. Your locking nut. Don't tighten it because you've still got to get the needle through. The nozzle. Head assembly. You can use these again to tighten it a bit more. And this part over here. Crown cap, 
then I'll carefully reinsert the needle. Make sure it's all the way forward. Don't sort of push it too hard because you could damage and flare the nozzle. So just press it until it seats, you'll feel it. And then make sure you tighten this locking nut and you'll notice that the needle will move back with your trigger if you've done that correctly. If you forget to tighten the locking nut, then you'll pull back on the trigger. The needle won't go back and forth, therefore it won't allow any paint to come out. So make sure that's always tight. Then refit your handle. This guide on there too. This guide just winds in so that you can't pull the trigger back as far. So if you want to make sure that you're hitting a certain amount of paint every time, you can wind that in and then it won't go all the way back. Now reassemble the colour cup. Fit that on the side. Put the lug in on the other side and then pop your protector cap back on and the airbrush is fully reassembled. So to fast track your learning, you can definitely check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com or you can continue to watch some of the other videos that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.